Hi, I'm Phil with Castle. I'm going to show you how to change the router bit on the Castle 110. Let's get started. First thing, we want to make sure the unit's unplugged. Now we want to remove the dust cover. Easiest way to do that is put your forefinger through the vacuum port, your thumb on the base. We're going to pull. The Castle 110 came with a setup block. Looks like this. We're going to take the edge that has the first part of the groove in it, and we're going to put that out. And we're going to line it up to this side of the work deck. We're going to flush that up. That's good. Clamp it down. Now we're going to take the Castle 110. We're going to put it on the side with the Castle logo up. We're going to take our two router wrenches. Small one's going to go on the shaft, the flats on the shaft. The large one's going to go on the collet nut. We're going to spin the nut in a counterclockwise rotation. Okay. Now we're going to pull down on the pocket lever just enough so that we can grab the router bit. We're going to pull that out. There's our old one. We're going to grab our new one. Be careful, these are very sharp. We're going to put it back through the work deck. We're going to line it up with the collet. Now we're going to pull the pocket lever down just a little bit more so that we can align it with the top of the groove. There we go. We're going to grab our router wrenches again. This time we're going to spin the nut in a clockwise direction. And we're going to snug that up. Just like we would any other trim router. That's good. Now we're going to pull down on the pocket lever and verify that we have the proper height. And we do. That looks good. So now we can put our dust cover back on. We can remove our setup block. And we're ready to cut pockets.